I loved so, so many things on Princeton's campus. What I especially loved was the opportunities that they gave us to see the world. Um, so my semester that I spent at the University of Havana in Cuba was one of by far my favorite experiences at Princeton. I really enjoy turning in my thesis. Performing on stage with the BAC Dance Company. When I would MC Princeton Faith in Action's weekly meeting called Encounter. My friends. Going undefeated in the Ivy League freshman year, the Princeton soccer team. We're camping in the in rural Pennsylvania for a weekend. Playing on the varsity softball team. A lot of parties, a lot of people came out and everyone really had a great time. Being able to stay on campus over the summer to do independent research. After Dean's Day, when I stayed up late with a bunch of friends playing apples to apples. Physics research and collaborating with my advisor and with postdocs and other researchers. Just handing in my thesis, knowing that all those months of hard work finally paid off. Getting to go abroad for spring break my sophomore year to Rome and Pompeii. It's going on the global seminar to Kenya. Handing in my senior thesis. Walking through the gates on NASA as a freshman. Both being on campus and the semester I spent abroad in London, I've been able to interact with people of so many different backgrounds from different places all over the world that I never thought I would have the opportunity to do before I came here. The relationships that I forged with my professors that I know will continue for the rest of my life, they're truly mentors and friends. The opportunity to come here and meet people from incredibly diverse backgrounds and be able to work one-on-one uh, -on -one with faculty and build these relationships that I think are going to last kind of far beyond uh, my walk out of the Randolph Gates. I think it's an unbelievable opportunity. There was a night early in my freshman year um, when uh, I was just sitting around and all of a sudden there's all these, these, these nine people in red shirts all banging and screaming at my door and I open it up and they tell me to run um, and I'm running and I'm halfway across campus before I realize I got into Quipfire uh, which is an improv comedy group. We stayed up all night, we climbed to the top of the football stadium, we watched the sunrise being very still. It was really beautiful. The third class we did in Panama was the biology of coral reefs and I remember the first day of class we got on a boat, we went to a deserted island in, called Coivita, kind of in the middle of nowhere uh, off the coast of Panama, and then we spent six hours that day snorkeling and six hours every day after that snorkeling as class. I was president of Chinese Student Association and we just did a banquet in which we invited a YouTube star and it started snowing so hard that we couldn't drive him back but we ended up just like having a snowball fight and rolling down the hill <laughs> which is cool because you don't get to do that with like a YouTube star every day. My favorite moments are always spent in the treehouse in the Cotson's Children's Library in Firestone. Anytime that all of, all of us who are in my Z group as freshmen get to uh, spend time together. Performing with my dance company every year. Playing in the concert with the Princeton Laptop Orchestra. For the pre raid leading in the class of 2017. We all climbed Mount Kenya, which is the second largest peak in um, Africa. Just singing for um, the Nassau alumni at reunions. Between my junior and senior year, where after um, eight months of hard work, I finally submitted my paper to a professional research journal. A couple weeks into freshman year, I am in wind ensemble in the low brass section with a couple of my friends. We decided then and there, the back row of the wind ensemble, to start our own brass ensemble. And now we've been playing for four years. Being a member of the Edwards Collective, I've met some of my best friends through this program. I'm going to think of all the moments that we just spend together, um, talking about art and philosophy and all the things we love and developing in the process these fabulous friendships that I really do think are going to last a lifetime.